What is up everyone? I hope you're doing well. Today's video I'm super excited to do because I'm going to be reviewing the 511 Approach Jacket in the Tundra color. They do offer this in a black and a dark navy. I did post some fit pics on my Instagram and I did feature this in my Techwear Lookbook video and I got a lot of people asking about it. So hopefully this video delivers. I will say right off the bat, this thing does run very large. I'm six foot two, for example, and I did size down to a size medium. And for reference, I wear an extra large in my Uniqlo Block Tech and a large in my REI Vortex jacket. So definitely look at the sizing chart if you're interested in this jacket. But with that being said, this thing has a lot of features. So let's just hop right into the review. So the fabric used throughout this is a three layer nylon hard shell. It's kind of comparable to Gore-Tex. The rating on this is 10K for being waterproof and 8K for breathability. And I think for comparison, Gore-Tex is around like 28K for being waterproof. However, you're not gonna notice a difference out and about on a rainy day. It's going to keep you completely dry. The main zipper here is sealed so no moisture will get in there. And a very nice feature about it is it is a double zipper. So every time I do wear this, I do unzip it from the bottom because it allows the jacket to move with the body much more and you can slop squat at any time possible with ease. There is an internal media pocket, however it's a little bit small to even fit like a iPhone 6S. It's definitely a tight fit so you, if you have a newer phone than that you're probably going to have a really hard time getting it in there if you can at all. It would be a really nice feature if they just would have made it bigger to accommodate more modern phones. There are two taped chest pockets right here and they're quite sizable. I can fit my whole entire hand in there and then when it's completely zipped up, at the end of the zipper, the membrane does go over it to help keep out any moisture. And then the same style of zipper is on the both biceps. And again, you can store quite a bit in there as well, so that's a very nice little feature to this jacket. And then they do have the two standard lower torso pockets. They're not, the zippers are not taped, however they do have this membrane going over it to help keep moisture out and give it kind of more of a streamlined look to it. A very well used feature on this is definitely the wrist straps here. I use it every time I wear it because it gets the fabric out and off of your hand and it also makes the sleeves fit you perfectly. One of the main features on this jacket is these two lateral zippers and it is a double zipper so you can unzip it from the top and then that can be an armpit vent or if you do carry a sidearm and go to the range or go hunting you can access a firearm from it um, by unzipping it from the bottom. Um, I know some kids in tech were like to integrate like messenger bags into their jackets and I think it can be done with this but it wasn't designed to for it so it's a little bit awkward however it is a possibility. Uh, maybe I just haven't figured out the right way to do it. And then another feature is the hem is adjustable so you can tighten the bottom of the jacket to your liking. Now one of the main features on this jacket is definitely the storable hood and I actually kind of like wearing this without the hood out. I like it into the collar. I think it gives it a really cool look. It, the collar is a little bit stiff however you do get used to it very fast and to access it this hood even when you're wearing it it's actually quite easy to use. Unzip this tape zipper here and then it unfolds out and being a pocketable hood it's actually very large and has a visor and drawstrings as well. There's two drawstrings right here on each side. So you just hold toggle, pull one of these, and it tightens the hood down. If it's super windy and rainy, you can tighten this hood down. So styling this jacket should be pretty easy for about any tech wear wardrobe. I really love this tundra color. It kind of looks a little bit brown on the camera. However, in person, it's definitely an OD green color. And I didn't want to spend $250 on another black jacket, so I think this olive is a great way to spice up my wardrobe. It definitely gives uh, the outfit like some military aesthetics to it, so I probably won't be wearing this with like really big like bulky cargo pants and like military boots. I think it would just be like a little bit too much. And then lastly, because it is a bulkier jacket, uh, I think like a messenger bag or a backpack really does help tame it and kind of pull it closer to your body, it just makes it look and fit much better. So in summary, I really love this jacket. I love all the features in it, the fit of it, the style of it, and I think it's a great addition to my wardrobe. It does go for 250, which is a little bit pricey. However, if it were to be like a Gore-Tex jacket and it did have all of these features, guaranteed it would probably be up there in like the $600 range. And then aesthetically, it does kind of look like the acronym J1BS jacket. It's kind of a similar color, 
looks to have similar features however of course i don't have that acronym jacket in hand i think this jacket definitely gives off some acronym vibes to it for more of a budget price so with that being said i really appreciate you guys stopping by and i appreciate all the support uh thank you for everyone who subscribed and likes the video i love talking with you guys on instagram and down in the comments below i've just been really busy with cool personal life so i haven't been super active on social media however uh, you know, we'll get back up there. Uh, with that being said, thank you guys very much, and I'll see you in the video very soon.